What's going on guys, Sawchasm here today I have for you guys a 112 kill game and only 5 deaths on the map meltdown using the PDW. It's been a while since I brought you guys this kind of gameplay where I get a 100 plus on a using the VSATs, Dogs and Swarm. So you know, I know recently I made a video saying that I'm not going to do that, but a lot of people kind of misinterpreted me. You know, I didn't actually say that I'm never going to upload 100 plus again. What I actually meant was that I'm not going to only upload 100 pluses so I just want to get that cleared up you know there's still gonna be 100 pluses and still gonna be tips on my channel that's what my channel is essentially based off of and that's the reason I made it my channel based off that is because that is what I like to do and I'm gonna continue that but at the same time there's some other things that I want to implement as well and that's kinda of just what I wanted to get across in my previous video where I said that I'm not gonna be doing as many hundred plus videos but they're still gonna be here so as you see here this is a hundred plus on my meltdown this isn't anything you haven't seen before on my channel in terms of gameplay style so I'm not gonna be giving too many tips and whatnot but uh, basically what I like to do is run the enemy spawn and use these two buildings this building right here that I'm in and the same one on the other side of the map this is a pretty asymmetrical map don't you just love when your swarm kills you you'll see that my swarm killed me right there and then again on this streak right here it'll kill me at the end of this streak so it's coming up and it's just ridiculous how the swarm kills you like it's just not fair it, how it kills you when you're on a good streak all right it makes me cry it hurts my feelings so i die from the swarm over there and then on the next round i come over to the same area so that's pretty cool pretty funny transition but yeah, so this is the second round. I think I ended up the first round with like 60 kills, but whatever. Enough about the gameplay. What I want to talk about in this video is actually the Elgato Gaming Capture Card. So Elgato sent me a capture card to review. They are not paying me for this review. This is a 100% honest review. And everything I'm saying is the truth or my honest opinion. So... Um, when I review a pro product, I like to make sure that I'm able to give it an honest opinion on it. You know, I don't want to just promote something just for the sake of promoting it. But if it's something that I can, I either really like or it's something that I am able to review and, you know, say whether I like it or not, even if it's a negative review, that's, those are the kind of products that I like to review. So in this case, Elgato, uh, basically I really like it, you know, I, what I used before was a Hapog HD PVR and it was good that was my first capture card so I didn't really know much but the Elgato has a lot of features that make it really easy to use and slightly better in my opinion from what I've seen now I've only used the original HD PVR I haven't used like the new ones the HD PVR 2 gaming edition and whatnot but I have used the first one and so that's all I can compare it to but in terms of features the Elgato is really really nice it has the ability to kind of roll back so if you're playing the Elgato capture card software and uh, you kind of forget to record don't worry you know as long as you have the capture card open the the software you can actually go back and then record it even if you weren't recording from the start so you know say you got a clip you were, you're like oh I, crap I wasn't recording you just go back not a big deal and you just go record that so I really like that feature that's probably my favorite thing to be honest um, another thing it has is live comp features so in case you don't know, you know, this is mainly directed towards YouTubers because a lot of you average viewers who don't do YouTube probably aren't even going to understand half this stuff, which is understandable and that's fine, but um, maybe just get your awareness up a little bit, so hopefully this video helps in that regard as well, but yeah, so it helps you do live commentary. In case you guys don't know, with like the Hapog HD PVR, you have to record the audio and the gameplay separately and sync it up, and it makes it really difficult for you to actually time it well and time it so that everything is lined up perfectly but the Elgato has a built-in live recording software where you can plug in your mic and you can record your mic at the same time as the gameplay so it's really really good I've been experimenting with it and trying to get used to it and use it with my live comms been working really well uh, another thing it has is built-in color correction you could color correct right from the capture card that's really good and those are pretty much the main features that I really like about it and on top of that it's really really small it's a lot smaller than the Hapog HD PVR so it doesn't take up as much space and it's a lot easier to set up in my opinion so those are all uh, pluses I will put the link to the website in the description so you could check it out if you want you want to check out this uh, capture card it's a really good capture card and obviously it's HD and if you are looking to get into YouTube I would definitely suggest using this one like I said I haven't used the like Hapog HD PVR 2 or anything but 
uh, from what I've heard and from what I've tried so far this is what I'm liking the best so I'm really liking it and check it out thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed final score 112 and 5 if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like rating but if you hated it be sure to dislike it leave me in the comments I'll subscribe thanks for watching Bell.